to start off with, in my video collection part one, I showed you the Drysdale jacket and I said I would show you it in the little pocket. So, here it is. This is it in its little pocket. Uh, it's quite compact, so this could fit in a bag. Yeah, it's very smaller than it was, as you can tell. Um, it says on it, Jack Wills LTD, University Outfitters, Great Britain. Yep, this cost me £59, this did. Uh, it is 100% waterproof. Yep, and there is a jacket just inside there. I don't know whether you can see it. Yep, but it doesn't take long to put back in. It takes a couple of minutes to put back into the, to put into the pocket. Yep, so that's that, there's a zip. And on the zip should be the Wills logo thing. I don't know whether you can see it or not. No, but that's that one. I said I would show you that. Now, sorry if you've heard a buzzing noise or you'll hear a beeping noise. That is because the heat has gone on. Because I have changed room yet again. Yeah, because somebody's using the office and I'm in the conservatory and it is absolutely freezing. So the heater is on. So sorry if it makes a buzzing noise. I will try and turn it off, but I don't want to leave you because that's a bit rude. Yeah, so I'll start off with my actual collection now. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a Bedlow SST. Okay, this is my Bedlow SST. Jack Wills have really weird names for items, so please do be excused if I get them wrong. Yeah, uh, this is a blue and white striped t-shirt. Yeah, uh, it is a short sleeved round neck one. It comes to the same length as all my other tops in my past video. Yeah, um, this has the traditional Jack Wills logo on, the little bird in pink. It's embroidered on. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Let me move a bit closer. There we go. It also has made in Portugal on it. This is where it was made. I don't know whether you can see that or not. And it also has a traditional Jack Wills logo in there as well. Uh, this top I actually thought was a really good buy because it was getting up for winter and I was thinking oh I could do with a thicker top and this is really thick this is it's not thick like a jumper but it's a thick t-shirt so I'm really chuffed with that it's made out of cotton 100% cotton yeah so that's that top okay next item this is an Ambler SST this cost me £29.50 from the Covent Garden store yeah, uh, this is, it's a bluey whitey colour, uh, short sleeved round neck. This also comes to the same length as all the other tops. Uh, it's got a funny weird picture on it actually. I think it's a bit of a factory. It says London on it. Yep. Don't know whether you can see that. Yep, uh, this was also made in Portugal and has the traditional Jack Wills logo thing in. Um, I don't know whether you can tell, but it is got, it's a blue material, but it's got white in it, if you can see that. Yeah, uh, it is also a quite thick top. I bought this in October and it was heading up for the winter and it was getting a bit nippier. But I just like wearing tops, I don't really like wearing jackets and stuff. So I thought this was nice because it's thicker than the top before but it's not as thick as a jumper yeah so I thought that was a really good buy for it coming up for winter and I wear this all the time I wear all of my clothes all the time but yeah I change clothes loads of times in the day as well <laughs> yeah okay next item okay this was an item that I got from Jack Wall's outlet yeah I think it was supposed to be 380 something pounds first yeah, so I'm not 100% sure. Okay, but this actually cost me £32. Mm. Yeah, from the outlet store. It was supposed to be 380 I think. So I thought that was an excellent buy when I saw it. Yeah, it has, of course, got the traditional Jack Wall's logo in there. Yeah, and this was made in China. This one was. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Yeah, but this was made in China. Okay, this has no logo or anything on it only has that in the back to say that it's jack wills it has nothing on the back yeah it's sort of like a light bluey color with rounded edges it's got pockets 
in the side of the jacket there. Yeah, um, it, and it has some count the one, two, three, four, five, six buttons going down the side. One is missing. Please do excuse that. Yeah. But I thought that was a really good buy from Jack Ward's outlet. But when I first received us, I received one and it was missing lots of buttons. And all of the buttons were missing off it, so I wasn't too happy with that. But then I got a full um, exchange without having to pay any more money. Yeah, normally you have to pay money to send it back, but I got that absolutely free. It would have cost me nearly £10 if I did. Yeah, so I thought that was a really, really, really good buy. Okay, um, next up I have got some Appleworth plimsolls. These were £17 and I got these from the Nottingham store. Yeah, they are in my favourite colour, which is yellow. Oh, yeah, these cost me £17. They are a bit like converse ones. They're a bit studded. I wear these nearly all the time, but they're not that filthy, actually. Just inside there, it says Jack Wills, and it's got their logo on there. And at the very back there as well, it also says Jack Wills. And even on the tongue of the shoe, let me just undo the shoelace. On the tongue of the shoe, it also has the Jack Wills logo on it. Yeah, and I'm really chuffed about these. I, I've wanted a yellow pair of shoes for ages. And when I saw these at Jack Wills, I just had to get them because I thought they were absolutely lovely. I can't believe how white they still are. I can't believe that they're not black because I've worn them so many times. And I thought they were just a really good buy from there. Yeah, some people say, oh no, they're really cheap and tatty. But they're actually not. They're really good quality. They've not broken. I've had them for quite a while now. Yeah, and they've not broke at all. Okay, so that's them. Okay, my next item. This was one of my first ever items from Jack Wills. And yeah, I've only just started getting into it since the beginning of 2012. This was one of the first ever items I bought. And it is a Woodbury rucksack. This cost me £49 from Jack Wills. And then after I got it, I got it for Christmas. And then after I got it, they put in the sale for £19. So I was quite peeved off about that. It has got the Jack Wills logo on the front there. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Yep, on the front of the bag. It's got a little pocket that you can put stuff in. That's handy. Uh, and then it's got white straps. It's also got a hook. So you could hang it up with, yeah. It's got a white zip. It's quite spacious inside. I used it for school. I don't anymore because I've got a new bag. But I use this for when I go out and stuff. Yeah, it's quite deep. And you do fit quite a lot in there, actually. More than I would have thought. Yeah. So that's that one. Um, okay, next. You might have seen this in my unboxing film earlier. Uh, this was what I received today. It has still got the label on, so I've only just received it. Uh, this is the Eddington SST. Uh, it cost me £24 in the sale, and I got this online. And I absolutely love it. When I saw it, I was thinking, I've got to get that. It says, Jack Will's physical... Sporting goods, training, finest quality. Yeah. And uh, when I saw it, I just absolutely loved it. This cost me £24 in the sale, reduced down from £29. Yeah, you still will be able to get these, I think, if you want to get one. Um, on the side, it says Wills with a Union Jack flag. If I can get it up with a Union Jack flag. Yeah, it is of course short sleeved and round neck and this also comes down to the normal length that it does in all the others. It has the traditional Jack Wills logo in it, like all the others, and this was made in Portugal. I don't know whether you can see that or not, it's a bit all mangled up with the label and everything. 
But when I saw this in the sale, I've been wanting to get it for ages, but my mum and dad said, oh, I'll wait and see what you've got for Christmas. But I didn't get it for Christmas. Um, so then I got money for Christmas, so I bought it after. Yeah. Which I was really, really chuffed about. Yeah. And I love it so much. I think it's one of the best tops ever. I really do. And I'll be wearing this all the time around the house and out. Yeah. So that cost me £24 in the sale. Okay, next, my last item. This is my most wanted item. Ever since I looked at Jack Wills, I've been wanting to get a hoodie. That's since the beginning of 2012. Since so many people have them. And I've been desperate and desperate and desperate to get one. And finally, I got one. This cost me £98.50. It's a Sandmore Classic uh, sheer part lined hoodie. Okay. And you may have seen this in my unboxing film earlier as well. But I'm going to go through it in more detail now. So here it is, the jacket everybody. Let me just do it up. It's a bit revealing. Yeah, one second. Ooh. Okay, so this cost me £98.50. Yeah. Okay, so this is of course, it's a grey hoodie. You could get it in red or navy. The navy had all sold out and I wasn't keen on the red. And look, made it look a bit cheap. Um, it has of course got Jack Wills printed on there. Uh, it's long sleeve. And it's got a hood, the sleeves are a bit tighter, so it's good, it doesn't let any of the air in. Um, it has of course got pulley cords, so you can make the hood smaller or thicker if you want it. Um, a good thing about it is that it's bare inside, it is sheep's wool, it is lined with sheep's wool. Which I absolutely love the feel of, oh, I could go to sleep on it. So, uh, this one hasn't got the labelling because I have worn it already. I only put, I've worn it on my way into the city centre today. Yeah, to go to the cinema with my friends. And, uh, this was, of course, made in China. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Yeah, and it also has the traditional Jack Wills logo in. Uh, it is fair all the way through the jacket, in the arms as well. Yeah, all the way down the arms. It is fully sheets wool. Uh, this has also got a Jack Wills labelling, the same as the trout as the shorts. And, uh, this is 70% uh, uh, cotton and 30% polyester. Um, and then it just says, um, wash with similar, it says you can wash it and stuff. Keep away from fire though. Yeah, it has of course got a white strip through it there that's to where the hood has been sewn on to the jacket yeah so it doesn't look all messy okay then if we turn it over and on the back it says uh, jack wills that uh, physical training sporting goods finest quality gbr with a union jack i don't know whether i'm putting that too much yeah uh when i saw this jacket i Said I've got to get. I absolutely adore it. I really do, and I don't think I will be taking it off. Okay, it has a core. It's got a zip up the front, so you can do it up. And on the zip is also the traditional Jack Wills. It says Wills on it. Yeah. Um. It's also got pockets in the side here, so you can put your hands in, or you can put stuff in on each side. It's got them. Yeah, it has also got a tight bit round the bottom here, so it doesn't let any air up. Okay. Well, that is my last item for the Jack Wills thing. Yes.